Hey everybody, just wanted to shoot a little bit of video on my Garami tank tonight. Of course they all saw me pull up a chair and sit down and they're all banging up against the glass waiting for dinner. So I've got some uh, algae wafers here broken up. In a few minutes I'll go ahead and drop some in there. But I made a lot of changes to this tank so this is probably going to be a fairly lengthy video. I just want to talk about this tank a little bit. What I really want to do is shoot a video about the nitrogen cycle and nitrates. Um, I think I'm going to probably wind up doing that as uh, multiple videos, maybe even as many as three separate videos. Um, I'm probably just going to start off by talking about the nitrogen cycle. Um, but what I've done to this tank, and the reason we're looking at this tank, is that I've changed over my filtration. You can see the uh, spray bar across the back there, and I have the rest of the plumbing hidden in the back corner. I have moved my power head that was over there on the right hand side over here to the left hand side. If you look very closely you can actually see the uh, wire going down so the power head is actually hidden behind the woodwork over there. And one of the things that has done for me is it's allowed me to take the hang on the back filters off and I have very limited uh, surface movement now. I do have a sponge filter that's still uh, circulating water across the surface to some degree but as you can see largely the water on the surface is very uh, still so hang on half a second here I got a few bit of broken wafers so if you look in the top you can see how still that water is and you can see how big and beefy my girls are So the grommies in here have really uh, calmed down as a result of the uh, calmer water surface. Now I've done a video before where I talked about water circulation and if you can believe it or not I still have uh, about 1200 gallons an hour circulating around this tank. And one of the things that I want to talk about with the nitrogen cycle is your nitrifying bacteria. And the filter I've put on this tank, it's kind of dark, I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Um, I have just added an external canister filter, it's probably a familiar one to most people. And it moves 525 gallons an hour. Now I used to have the hang on the back filters on this tank and the combination of the filters I had I had about 500 gallons an hour. It wasn't quite as much as this filter moves, but it was pretty close. And what I was running into was bacterial blooms, such as you can see going on in my angelfish tank. Uh, if you can believe it or not, I just did an angel. I did a full uh, water change on my angelfish tank. Uh, a little over 24 hours ago and it's already that cloudy and when I say full I mean probably about an 80% water change and it is already that cloudy again um, this tank used to look like that and used to be like that I had to do if you're familiar with my videos you know I do massive water changes on both these tanks several times a week um, and the reason being is the nitrogen cycle and I'm just throwing some teasers out there this isn't going to be the video where I'm going to discuss it but that's why I've had to make these changes and as you can see I made the correct changes because my tank is now crystal clear and it's been about four or five days since I've actually done a water change on this tank so believe it or not I checked all my water parameters today in this tank and everything was perfectly fine and my nitrates were sitting right around 40 parts per million just not quite 40 parts per million but close this tank, when I checked it today, remember I did an 80% water change yesterday, so it hasn't had time for any nitrates to build up in it. The nitrates in this tank were uh, not quite 10 parts per million. I mean, there's almost no nitrates in that tank, and yet I'm that cloudy already. And I will go into much more detailed explanation later, but the reason that is cloudy is because I have a type of bacteria in these tanks that feeds on the actual organics in the tank. It is a heterotrophic bacteria rather than the autotrophic bacteria which is the bacteria that deals with your ammonia and that's part of your nitrogen cycle. 
So the bacteria that's clouding my water can actually reproduce every 20 minutes if the conditions are right. The autotrophic bacteria that is responsible for your nitrogen cycle, um, depending on temperature, pH, etc., best case scenario, you can only get um, a multiplication of that bacteria every 18 to 36 hours. So you've got bacteria that's feeding directly off of the organics in your tank that can recycle itself and double its number every 20 minutes. Um, you know, that is definitely one of the secondary issues that you can get into with having high levels of nitrates. And again, this tank only has about 10 parts per million. It's just that the water is now infected with this bacteria and it doesn't need a lot of organics at all just to have food in the water. So that's what you get. So I need to deal with that in a different way. And the way I've done that is this external canister filter I have down here uh, actually has a 9 watt UV light in it. So it's important to note that your nitrifying bacteria lives on uh, surface area, not in the water column. So transferring water from one tank to another does nothing to help cycle in a tank or anything like that. There is a way to very easily uh, speed up the cycle of a tank if you're trying to cycle in a new tank. Uh, or if you've disturbed the cycle in a tank and you're just trying to recycle it. I've done a video on that. I'll go ahead and put a card in there if you want to watch that. Um, but the bacteria that clouds your water, the uh, heterotrophic bacteria that feeds on the organics, that actually does live in the water column. So as I'm running it through my filter, it's being passed over this biolite, essentially. It's a 9 watt uh, UV light, and the way that works is the single-celled organisms are uh, exposed to this high level of radiation, the ultraviolet light. The same thing's happening with your skin cells when you're exposed to sunlight. Um, the ultraviolet radiation actually damages uh, large sections of the genetic uh, makeup. It just basically damages the DNA to the point where when it tries to reproduce, it cannot successfully reproduce and it basically dies off. Uh, so that's how the UV uh, sterilization works. It's not necessarily killing the bacteria that's in the water, it's simply sterilizing. It prevents it from breeding and then it basically just at the end of its life cycle dies off and you get no new bacteria in your tank. So hopefully at some point I will be able to turn the UV light off and stop sterilizing my water all the time and I can let the tank go back to running naturally. In the meantime, the steps I've taken so far have just done wonders for this tank. I'm just tickled pink with it. Um, I've fallen in love with it all over again. Uh, the way the grommies are behaving is completely different. As I've said, the water, the surface water being still is just so much nicer. Um, I've actually been able to move my plants around. I've added a lot of these hanging plants, these floating plants with the roots. Uh, they looked a lot nicer a couple days ago. I've been kind of waiting for this tank to really settle in and do what it was going to do before I shot any video of it. And uh, in just a few days, the Garamis have just munched these, uh, well, you can see they're up there right now, munching away on the uh, plants. And they tear the roots up, they tear the leaves up. Um, Garami are, are, will definitely put a beating on your plants if you've got a planted aquarium. So that's one of the reasons I actually like the water sprite. It grows really fast. I have it in a lot of my other tanks. So when it's ready, I can just pull chunks of it out and uh, throw it in. This tank's actually being treated for cyanobacteria right now. Uh, there's my African butterfly fish. This tank has all sorts of stuff growing in it. If you can see the water sprite in this tank is actually growing up and coming out of the water already. It's growing so fast under that little uh, 18 watt lamp. And this tank actually has some chocolate zebra plecos that I've recently acquired and I haven't really done any videos with them. I'm still acclimating them to my very odd water. Uh, so that's gonna take some time. So stay tuned for videos of that. And again, stay tuned for my video on my nitrogen cycle, my new filters, filtration, etc. All that's coming. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, please sub, and uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more to come. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.